I grew up moving around a lot as a kid. Lived in New Jersey and Belgium and Massachusetts. And you know, I kind of had to find ways to entertain myself. When you're always moving around like that, you're always the new kid. Just being creative has always been something that I've found uh, is something that I can keep myself occupied with. So what do you have to say about that? Hey, <laughs> looking for the runner out on the highway, looking for adventure in whatever comes our way. And and I just always loved making things. I didn't care what, you know, Lincoln Logs, Legos, Tinker Toys, you know, and even just taking, you know, like radios and just taking them all apart and making other things out of them. It's, always been something that I really liked. But I never really um, got into art until, you know, after high school, I joined the Coast Guard for four years. This is one of my favorite pieces. I just love the motorcycle. I've always loved motorcycles. After college, I moved up to Boston. I was working both photography and design, um, graphic designer and that kind of thing. And, just didn't find it that satisfying because, you know, some of the jobs I liked, I love doing logo designs and that kind of thing. This is one of my favorite mobiles here, the Pac-Man. I mean, it's just fun, you know, it's, uh, I, like, I like to incorporate humor into my sculptures and, uh, you know, something like this, it's, it just makes me smile. I came out to California and I just, uh, you know, I'd never done metal work before, so I just went out and bought a little cheapy $400 MIG welder and turned the on button and started sticking stuff together with it. This is one of uh, a series of uh, four of these that I've done so far. This is the number four cheese. Uh, it's the most complex one. And what I mean by complex is I've got, you know, holes of various different diameters connecting from one side to another. And this is all hollow, so it's a hollow aluminum. One of the most difficult materials to weld, um, but I just love the way these come out. Yes, well, artists do hit skids here and there. and. Um, I mean, I can sell five pieces in a day and then no phone calls for so long that I'm calling up my own number to make sure it still works. You know? <laughs> and, and one of these slow periods, uh, it was like, okay, I don't have anything to eat here in the house. And, and then I remembered, oh, Y2K. I remember Y2K, I bought a jar of peanut butter just in case I ever had to grab it, throw in a, you know, a sack and run out and live off the land. And, <laughs> so so I, ate, I ate some peanut butter that was three years past the expiration date. You know, I just really, really like these. I've made a, a couple of these red ones in a smaller size, those got snapped up very quickly. And, you know, I don't know what it is about that stuff, but uh, I don't personally get the shoes, but they get a lot of attention. These are called neodymium iron boron rare earth magnets. Well, welcome to my gigantic uh, accumulation of 15 years worth of crap. <laughs> I have motorcycle parts and car parts and, you know, old propane tanks and just junk, just piles and piles of junk. As an environmentalist, uh, I, I'm very pleased to say that I probably put uh, less into the dumpsters than I take out. I think we seriously just have a matter of just a few years to really straighten things out here or 
you know, we're, we're just going to see a, a significant amount of our planet wiped out. There's a pile of plastic scrap in the ocean the size of a continent floating around and it's kind of a funny thing to me because I like to think about it as like taking junk that was definitely headed towards landfill and putting it in some rich guy's house on their wall in the living room. <laughs>